मैम आई एम हितेश शर्मा सीनियर मैनेजर वर्किंग एट कॉलेज दुनिया डॉट कॉम ओके एंड बिफोर आई स्टार्ट इड द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस फर्दर आई वॉन्ट यू टू प्लीज गिव यूर ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट योर सेल्फ अबाउट योर एक्सपीरियंस about your education qualifications everything and then we'll start with the interview process now fine fine and uh, myself i am dr b shri devi heading department of computer science and engineering in sri uh, sai ram institute of technology i am here uh, for the past 15 years earlier i worked in uh, srm uh, university as a lecturer for 5 years and then i moved on to software industry for 2 uh, years as a team leader and in software development then i moved to rajalakshmi engineering college so my work experience spans in about an area of 22 years and i have completed my phd in medical image processing from an university thank you so much for your introduction ma'am so ma'am according to you what are the best practice offered by the department to the students which help them gain necessary skills uh like uh, i can uh, quote as best practices uh, they need to undergo n number of value addition courses during their uh, engineering uh, career which will again them good placement and uh, here in our organization we are uh, pra- practicing like uh, we are sharing the knowledge gained by their alumni students to the uh, current year students so that uh, they can have a uh, uh, good exposure to the outside world and other pr- best practice what we are following is uh, the consultancy work the consultancy work meaning like uh, we are uh, gaining projects from uh, startups and we are giving it uh, to our students uh, for which uh, the institution will be paid and the students will uh, gain knowledge and one more best practice that we have inside our campus is iram techno incubation where we have around uh, 90 startups in that almost uh, we link the students who are with a good attitude and basic knowledge and they will be trained with uh, uh niche technologies in the outside world uh, through which uh, they can uh, go for higher packages companies even and uh, we have like uh, value added courses in our institutions value additions meaning they don't have these courses in their curriculum instead uh, they need to learn it as an uh, separate uh, course with uh, for which a glo- global certification will be uh, provided by the concerned uh, authority like uh, we have cisco value added uh, we have red hat we have salesforce we have amazon web services um then one more thing is we uh, regularly uh, practice the students for uh, writing this amcat and skill rack exam to our uh, third party providers for uh, best uh, coding knowledge so these are the practices we follow and we have a very good uh, innovation ecosystem uh, where the students are encouraged to do projects from the uh, first year onwards uh, we call it as uh, idea thon and second year uh, they need to develop the prototype we call it as uh, solve thon and third year they need to implement the full project we call it as innovate thon and final year uh, if the project is worth while to be patented we go for uh, patent grant and uh, publish and grant so these are the best practices we uh, follow and one more uh, very good practices all the activities that we do are linked with the uh, united nations sustainable development goals that's really great man thank you ma'am you know in the current uh, generation you know the competitions are been so high in the outside world so how do you help your students to cope up with that um, like uh, main thing is uh, they need to uh, be uh, technically sound that is basic uh, the foundation knowledge of the students should be a uh, little bit uh, higher and then they need to participate in the competitions and challenges in the outside world uh, as much as they can if even if they win or not uh, this will improve their uh, problem solving skills and uh, of course uh, students need to develop on the uh, soft skills which is a uh, very much important uh, for them to uh, communicate in the outside world they need to build their leadership and networking capabilities as well ma'am what valuable advice would you like to give to the students for them to have a prosperous career ahead uh, prosperous career in the sense uh, they need to mainly participate in uh, community services and outreach activities like uh, they uh, as uh, engineering is just not solving a problem alone it has uh, it is uh, much related to the uh, societal problems so as an engineer they should have some professional ethics within them and uh, definitely they need to try to sur- uh, solve the problem within their uh, area of uh, interest uh, and their area of society first which will be gradually uh, percolated to the uh, city and the nation finally 
ma'am you hold the key position at the education institute you being the hod of the department right of computer science so what are the key factor that keep you connected with the education sector key performance uh, activities like uh, we have uh, um professional development programs here in our college and workshops and certifications innovation and entrepreneurship and uh, we have uh, startup incubator and we are uh, solving the innovative challenges and uh, ours is uh, our institution also supports uh, study abroad programs where uh, we uh, do periodical interchange of the faculty and the students yeah. okay ma'am any so suggestions this- Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Continue. Yeah, this uh, respect we um, we are very well connected with the outside world. Okay. Um, any suggestion which you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students? Yeah, the same thing. Uh, they need to have an uh, positive attitude first. Uh, then they need to focus on the problem solving and innovation, and they should have some ethics and professionalism, and they they need to develop their soft skills to network effectively. So, what do you think uh, that that sets your institute apart from the other college, and how do you communicate the unique value proposition to the students? So, our thing, our college students uh, stand uh, uniquely among other colleges with respect to this uh, SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. We strongly adapt uh, these seventeen United Nations defined goals in all the activities that we do, uh, starting from. Uh, student uh, uh, training to faculty training uh, we are uh, associated with uh, any one sdg goal and we believe that uh, this uh, solving of this uh, sdg problems will definitely uh, make the world a better place to live okay. this is the uniqueness of saira okay. innovation last, ecosystem the last question ma'am when you came to the college what was your vision and how you trying to achieve the same Okay. Well, so when I uh, came to the college, uh, main thing is uh, every as everyone was uh, aspiring, it is purely self-development, growing as an individual for gaining uh, confidence and uh, uh, in a broader uh, perspective and gaining some uh, practical experience. But later on, it moved towards the uh, vision of the uh, institute where we say uh, we build a better nation through quality education with a team spirit. and uh, our students are enabled to excel in all values of life and good students so uh, to enable them to become a good student definitely uh, my vision is focusing towards that it has changed a little bit sure thank you so much for your valuable time ma'am